This is exactly what it looks like. We're getting a puppy. This is the last time I'll be in my apartment without a puppy and I quite literally don't have anything, but you know, a puppy can't destroy stuff if there isn't any stuff, so maybe it's for the better. I found out today that I'm gonna get a girl. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a boy this entire time, but now that I'm getting a girl, I, I have to mentally prepare because I was so mentally ready to get a boy. That was what I had bonded with in my head, but my first dog growing up was a boy and then we had rescued a girl dog and I absolutely loved both of them, but the girl dog was definitely my dog and I loved her. Let's bring this little girly home. She's being so good and she's sitting and not jumping up on her playpen right now. Anyway, obviously that's what a lot of this video is gonna be about is her. I got a Dalmatian girl puppy. She is what, 10 weeks? She's a temperament held tested preservation Dalmatian. She comes from some prestigious bloodline. The breeder told me that she's, <laughs> so she's an Abo baby. I guess her great grandpa was like the best Dalmatian in the United States. I don't really know what that means. I don't know much about like show dog. So she's a prestigious little girl, hence her name Ivy, like little Ivy League girl. Um, no, another reason her name is Ivy, I've shared this before, but my favorite number is four. It's like a family number. It was my grandpa's hockey number, and then it was my dad's hockey number, the number of people in my family. There's a lot of different things. However, Ivy, IV is the Roman numeral, the numeral Rome. The Roman numeral, what the fr The Roman numeral number for four, which I thought that was so cute because I actually wanted to name, if I got a boy, like four, F-O-U-R, <laughs> like from Divergent. But I was like, I don't know, it's kind of out there, so I wasn't like set on it. But I was also gonna name, if it was a boy, Solo, S-O-L-O. I was like really set on getting a boy for some reason. Like I really thought I was gonna get one. But when you go through a preservation breeder, they choose for you based off of temperament. So I got matched with Ivy and her original name was Jezzy, J-E-Z-Z-Y. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up and show you guys because I'm sure you don't care about me anymore. <laughs> I think she hi to the vlog. Um, I'm a little nervous right now because I, have a, I got a couch today and I have a blanket on top of the couch right now so she doesn't like go to the bathroom on it. And we're working on potty training. And I'm just nervous because my camera's on top of the blanket. So I'm nervous she's gonna pull the blanket and then the camera's gonna go crashing down and she's gonna pee on the couch, which is all just like in my head. Anyway, um, this is Ivy. She is very confident, very playful, and very cuddly. Those are the words I would describe her. She's very cuddly. Like if I sit down next to her, she's gonna come and sit in my lap, which I'm obsessed with. Like I really wanted a cuddly dog. I'm sure everybody does, so. I really love her. Like, I can't believe that she's mine. She literally feels like a little cow. Like, every time I see her, I'm like, who let their cow in my apartment? But I love her so much. It's crazy just, like, how good she's honestly been for my mental health, which there's a lot of reasons I really wanted to get a dog. One of them was just, like, this job is so fun and I love being creative, but it's really hard when your whole life revolves around you. Like. I don't feel like we as humans are meant to live life just thinking about ourselves 24 seven, like where's the joy in that? And so I just kind of started to feel really honestly drained. I was like, if I have to look at a camera and just like think about what I look like and think about myself and how I can get people to like me and just like all these things for another day. Like I feel like I can't, I wait. That was a new one, not the hair. So I felt like I couldn't keep doing it. And having a puppy is obviously a ton of work. Like I wake up multiple times in the night 
and she's whiny and she, you know she's just a puppy she's like a little land shark but it's just nice like i don't feel stressed about myself for once like i'm stressed about her and i i can't even explain like the feeling like i'm sure an average person would be so stressed and i am stressed but i'm like it's just nice like i'm not mad at myself for once i can i can get mad at this little cute face anyway like i was saying my couch game today which uh came in a million boxes actually it came in four boxes but i have so much recycling i literally can't walk around my apartment right now because it's just <laughs> straight recycling all this all this all that this and even over here i'm like oh my gosh this is Ivy's land right now, her little playpen and her crate. I'm planning on getting a dining table and stuff eventually, but for now it's just like her little world. I got bar stools too, which I'm excited for. They're like holding her playpen in place. My kitchen's finally coming together. I'm really happy about my kitchen. I love it. Anyway, I have a lot of cleaning to do. I need to unload my dishwasher. I need to take care of these boxes. I think one of the most fun parts of having your own place is you just get to buy like random stuff for your kitchen and just things like that. I found this little recipe book and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And so I got it and I'm just like, oh, it's so nice to be able to like buy things for your place. Okay, it's sweet treat o'clock. I'm really craving a blizzard from Dairy Queen. I haven't had one in years. Giving Ivy a little uh, treat so she go in her crate. Um, and then I wanna come back and read and sit on my couch and eat my blizzard. I'm very excited. These are the days that I dreamed of, honestly. I want to know something so silly. I met Paris Hilton yesterday. <laughs> so random. Basically, Living Proof, the hair care brand, hosted an event and they called it like Sliving. Sliving? Is that how you say it? I actually don't know. Sliving? Sliving? Anyway, they called it like Sliving Proof because I think that's Paris Hilton's thing. I'm so uncultured. I don't even know. Anyway, I wasn't going to go. And then I did a poll on my story and I was like, should I hang out with Ivy or should I go to this event? And like 56% voted to go. And I was like, now I feel like I'm going to let half of you guys down. So I ended up going, which I'm glad because I actually had a lot of friends who went. Like kind of did a little meet and greet. I don't think she was going to, but then people just kind of started to crowd around her. And I took like a small video with her. But I was just like, you're iconic. And she goes love you <laughs> like so the most paris hilton voice i've ever heard so i went to that last night uh which was friday and today's saturday and i have the best news of the century besides ivy my friend macy you guys saw her in the last vlog <laughs> ivy you playing she moved down to california and i was like girl you could have told me that before i went and got a puppy because i've been so lonely no i'm just kidding i would have gotten ivy regardless but Anyway, Macy was here this morning and we hung out and it just was so nice to have one of my close friends here that I knew from college and stuff. It's seriously a game changer. A little brunch and then we came back and we've been watching the Gabriel Hernandez docu-series because neither of us have seen it, which it's very interesting because I majored in social work in college and if you know anything or if you've watched the series, it's about how the system failed Gabriel essentially, so it's kind of a hard watch, but I do find it just very interesting because it's something that like I studied and I know about. I'm not sure what we're gonna do the rest of the night, but let's say hi to Ivy because I know you guys care as much as I do. Right? Right? Ivy Blue, YouTube loves you. Hey, baby girl. Look at you. <laughs> oh, you're sleepy. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. She, not to be dramatic, is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love her so much. Whenever she's uh, misbehaving, I call her poison ivy. <laughs> or I tell her I'm gonna send her to the cow farm. Or I tell her, Corella's gonna pick her up. Or I tell her, what's the other one? Oh, I'll drop her off at the fire station. So many good little jokes. All of those I never would actually say or do. I forwarded my address, so I think the PR is starting to come to this place, and I got PR packets today, and I got it from Patrick Ta, which I'm excited about. There's a blush, I think this is a new blush shade. Whoa, oh my gosh. <gasps> that is so pretty, it's sparkly. Oh my gosh, can you guys see the sparkles? Please tell me that's picking up. That is gorgeous. I'm actually so excited to try that. 
and then these little lip suede, which listen, you guys know I love Patrick Ta. Like I ride or die for their contour bronzer palette, but I don't love their lip products for some reason. I feel like they just smell really strong. I don't know. Not my fave, but here I am trying them anyway. My lips are stinging so much. Was that a lip plumper? Major volume plumping gloss. Oh my gosh, it was a plumper. Luke just got back from the driving range and I feel a little bit restless. Like I'm kind of jealous that he was just outside. This is one of those moments where if I had a bike, I would go for a little bike ride. I really want um, to train Ivy. I could like ride my bike and her ride or like run alongside me because Dalmatians are coach dogs. Like they ran alongside uh, carriages because it was kind of like fire trucks back in the day and the Dalmatians would alert people. They're almost like the sirens, like the blinking lights today. So they're bred to run alongside wheels. So I'm like, this could be perfect. Sorry, I'm munching. Eating just peanut butter pretzels. My favorite snack. So I self tan last night and I cannot tell you the last time I felt this good. <laughs> Today's Monday. Uh, yesterday my brother came over and met Ivy for the first time, which was fun. It was nice to like have people here. It just is exciting. I'm like, oh my gosh, I moved place. So fun. Um, I'm gonna try and take the film out of this right now because I wanna go and get the pictures developed because I've tried to take a bunch of Ivy as a puppy and I really want to take a really good picture of her and blow it up, uh, put it in a frame and hang it on a wall over here. Um, I am that type of person who would be owning their dog and framing a picture of them, unfortunately, like actually. Oh, that released, right? Okay, pop up. Oh. oh yeah. I really hope that these turn out. They have my precious little baby. I have a Okay. That, got my lip. So yesterday I went and picked up all the PR boxes from my old place. <laughs> I needed to wait until Luke got here today to help me bring them all upstairs because there were so many, so I'm gonna show you guys. This is the result of being part of Ulta Beauty Collective, which there is applications open right now if you wanna join. So if you're a creator, I highly recommend it was a crazier and an insane amount of PR. And if it shows my address on it, it doesn't matter because I don't live there anymore. You're such a good girl, you are. Hi. Oh, I love her little stretch when she wakes up. So cute. My sweet girl, my precious angel. I'm adding some color into the kitchen. I have some tulips, oranges. Just put this little target frame right here for now, just to add a touch of life into my apartment. My hair looks so silly. Also, I'm not sure if I shared this, but tomorrow, right? Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to a Bad Bunny concert with Persona Cosmetics. And I'm so honored that they invited me. And I'm really excited. I've seen a few other girls post that they're going. And they're like creators that I love and known and followed for a long time. So I think it'll be really fun. And I've also worked with Persona in person before. So I know their team and they're just amazing people. But it's in celebration of their newest launch, which are their eye paints. I love the pink. I hope it's picking it up. I just think it's so pretty. I just woke up from a nap in full glam. <laughs> it's about 3.30. I'm thinking I should leave here around 4, 4.30. I'm gonna Uber to the restaurant we're meeting for before the concert and then we're taking a shuttle to the concert. I had no idea that the vibes were like Western at his concert. So I kind of panicked and I went and bought a top from Urban Outfitters yesterday. I was like, I have no idea what I'm gonna wear with this. I couldn't find a skirt for the life of me. And I just looked in my closet and I had a pair of jeans that match perfectly. And I was like, so excited, so let me show you guys, I'm gonna put it on. Before I show you guys the full fit, I'm gonna put on this Dibs collarbone makeup. <laughs> What's it called? Glitter? Highlighter, my goodness. I was napping hard. Oh, I just was so much on. I did not get good sleep last night. Ivy woke me up a lot, which has probably been one of like the hardest nights I had with her. Okay, here's the outfit. I actually don't think you guys will be able to see. Let's go over here. My apartment is such a mess. I was struggling to find a place where I could show you guys where it's clean, but I just gave up. So this is the outfit. Uh, sorry for this. I actually, I don't know, this angle might make me look like freaking comes down. I am so excited that these denims matched perfectly. That was the best thing ever. I'm really debating if I want to wear these heels though. I feel like I'm going to hate myself. I really don't know what else I'd wear though. And I have to bring a small purse, so I'm just bringing this one, which I need to fill up then. I don't know if I should bring a jacket or not. I'm debating. I'm kind of more nervous for like being cold at dinner. 
But anyway, I'm very excited. I'm actually so excited. I love going to concerts no matter what, even if I don't know the songs. I just love loud music. I love the atmosphere, so. Tell the vlog where we spent our Saturday. Tell them. Tell them we were at the urgent care and tell them how much we spent on you out of pocket. I'm just kidding. This is your friendly reminder to get pet insurance because I did and it's gonna work out for me and that's gonna be fine, but. Oh, I love you so much. My sweet girl, no, she's fine. She just has a UTI, which obviously is unfortunate and we got it all settled, but um, I knew getting a Dalmatian that they are prone to UTIs. I didn't expect her to go in so soon. I feel like I failed her, but it's out of my control. I got, my brother got me a housewarming gift, which was so kind. Got me a little soda stream. Watch this. I got Mio. This is the orange vanilla. <laughs> Mio gives me 2013 vibes so much. My family had them all the time. <laughs> so nostalgic, but my brother had me try this one. It was really good. No. Mmm. The sparkling water itself is good too, which I probably should just drink water, but I'm not going to because it's Saturday night and I had to pay $800 at the vet today. So I'm wearing my glasses, as you can see. I think I have, I actually don't know what it is, but my eyes have been really bothering me, like really itchy. Like my contacts will not stay in my eyes without just like feeling like it's sand. So I'm kind of on a glasses kick right now, which was one of my New Year's resolutions to wear my glasses more. So we'll see if I can keep up with that. watching the OC, the show, the OC on the Hulu. And I've never seen it before, which is funny because like literally Newport Beach, but I posted a TikTok of my dad a while ago and I posted on all my platforms and I got consistent views and every platform everyone's like, is your dad Jimmy from the OC? So I'm like, okay, I should just watch it because so many correlations. Anyway, it's just kind of funny. I can kind of see the resemblance. It's Monday, this vlog is going on a little bit longer than I thought because everything I've been doing is pretty boring. I feel like I've mom these days like i just some home all day with my child hi i swear she's just getting bigger every second i can tell she's getting bigger by how much harder it is to lift her up i'm like oh i'm getting a little hot here girl when i thought like seriously put into consideration the thought of getting a dog i don't know what it was but i was just like immediately knew like deep down i wanted a dalmatian which is definitely a random kind of breed i think from people. That's kind of the comments I get. My grandma had one when I was growing up and her name was Pepper. And so like I had loved Pepper. I started doing actual research about Dalmatians in general, learning more about the breed. And I was like, you know what? Like they're very active dogs. I knew that. I love the outdoors. I love hiking. I love going on walks. I live in a very walkable area and <laughs> all the lipstick all over her. If I could just go on walks all day, I would. And I feel like I could give a really good life for Adele. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna do this, but I wanted to do it right. Throughout that process, finding a Dalmatian was very, it was a learning curve. Like there's just so much information out there. Shop, don't shop. It's, a, it's amazing, but there's also a way to shop responsibly. And I'm very proud of where I got her. I got her from a health tested, hey KC, temperament tested um, Dalmatian breeder. The breeder only breeds dolls and she only has like a litter a year or two maybe. The drive to actually getting her, I was just like kind of in shock and then we got her and she was so panicked in the car, so whiny, screaming. And then after an hour, she finally fell asleep and, and like that was just like the sweetest drive back, having her just sleep in my lap. So dolls are very, I think, misunderstood. They're known to be aggressive. They were overbred when 101 Dalmatians came out and they weren't bred well. So yeah, it did cause them to be a, a known aggressive breed because their needs weren't being met. People didn't realize how active these dogs were. It's just interesting because I definitely got a dog with a stigma and I'm like learning to speak up for them and advocate for them, but like it's been, it's been a joy. <laughs> okay, she's eating my 
couch.